Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious... Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. On over Ashes Hillefort and Wellangafort. Three men, three possible futures. 
Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I choose Alfgar. He is sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new Elderman is Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your Elderman, I will work to better this Shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our King. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself, who must. Your troubles begin early, Alfgar. We'll find and kill that man. 
To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tusser can't have gone far. Race a feared and march against what men he has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or, or the gods protect you. Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Herefrith, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer! Oh, Shire. What remains? My heaven waits. Fight. <laughs> Such carnage I've never seen. That what news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I've gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp then, and onward to Anacasta. Follow, if you will. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. 
Perifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrik were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. Who's fetching the turf this time, eh? The one to freeze to death here? God's gladdener. Our camp is just here. When the fear is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Herefrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we'll claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the Feard. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Come! We'll feed the raven! Coming!
Elgar. That thing when the bleeding is done. me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Where 
I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Heravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. as one possessed by a demon today. Herifrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. I did this to secure the alliance between us, Elfgard, not to bring you personal prosperity. Oh well, yes, of course you did. Forgive me. I'm not yet accustomed to the size of the task before me. It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. Bonded now, your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask? Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her, and to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranty. Let's tell her the good news.
Eivor. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Alfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. I want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant.